Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru, in my North Thailand Chiang Mai cottage. And uh, I'm really, I'm really quite keen to show you this um, learning environment, this learning platform, even though I only saw it for the first time about a week ago. It's now March 2011. Um, it's very different. And, and with things very different, it's sometimes a little bit frightening uh, and maybe even intimidating. But uh, this one is... Uh, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. It's called... And I'm not even sure whether I get this right. It's called, it's called Sococo. I hope, I hope the Sococo team, if you're listening to this, I hope I'm pronouncing you right. And I love this logo. It's a great little logo here. And uh, key keywords, team space, virtual... Uh, visual vital communications and there's a couple of uh, URLs here three URLs uh, the website the face Facebook and their Twitter account I don't like these underscores it's very easy to uh, miss it uh, those underscores let me get rid of that bit there so let's have a look let me go to a browser first of all here we are of course I, I, I don't know about you I, I suspect you do this but when you're looking up something new let me enlarge this a little bit when you're looking at something new google it <laughs> and uh, so this is a google for sococo and uh, actually one good thing that comes out of it is i like this phrase here a spatial user interface based online communication services company actually the services company is a bit a bit sort of commercial and as an educator i go i look at this and think nah, is it going to be education but Trust me, hang on, stay with me. I think the answer to that will be uh, will be yes. So let's have a look here. So instead of clicking on any of these, I've, I've clicked on some, <laughs> look along the top here, these tabs. I've clicked on some to save us some time. Here's their main front page. As I say, don't be put off by, by the commercial look of it. This is very much commercial, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, it's, it's an office. Uh, and, and actually, all of the PR looks like it's an office. Uh, commercial based but I've talked with the guys there uh, and they are keen to talk with educators and be linked with schools uh, I think it could be a good link as well and um, what have we got down the page if you want to find out about any of these things just come and play and click and frequent FAQs down here ask questions uh, they seem a well organized gang um, let me have a look what else have we got here here's another page which is about Sokoko, and you can come and read this yourself about what they offer, the services they offer, the platforms. Uh, they're based up in Mountain View, which I think's, I think that's Google Land, isn't it? That's where Google is based. And you can see in the teams, you see the. P <laughs> would you buy a used car off these guys? Well, that doesn't really matter, but uh, would you trust them to uh, provide you with a secure learning environment, uh, a meeting environment, a team space, is it, which is they call it? Um, what else have we got here? Let's uh, they have a page here with features. Uh, let me stay on this for a few seconds. The features page, um, <laughs> very very business orientated. Um, the features page is to get people together to help them communicate, which is what you would expect. I love these logos. It's it's almost like a, a a light immersive platform. It's halfway between a full 3D virtual world and a flat web page. I do love these icons. Let me see if I can just enlarge them a bit so you can see them, and uh, and move these. <laughs> Look at these icons. You can uh, read them. If you see this icon, it's uh, somebody who's talking, watching, can can talk, can listen, can present, and is online. Um, so you've got you've got those there. Um, what else do we have here on this particular page? On this features page. Uh, you get some idea that uh, it's talking about offices, but it could be classrooms, uh, uh, conference room. You can see the sort of environment. So we'll look at the real environment in a second. Um, this is uh, uh, a meeting room. There's a table here. There's people online. Uh, and there's different pr presentation screens here. But of course, this is just a, an image. It's not the real thing. Um, and they're emphasizing here that in one of these rooms, you can uh, actually link to lots of cloud-based services, uh, you know, a web browser, obviously, and but, but web-based services. And some some here, I actually, I don't recognise. Um, okay, let's move on. Oh, are they hyperlinked. 
just each one of these no it doesn't look like it these aren't type hyperlink that's a shame so goco guys hyperlink these so we could go and have a look at the services most of the pages it has this get a team space you can get a free team space to try out what is this next one i've got here oh they have a they have a blog and how i found out about them is uh, in the virtual world's best practices in education conference which was uh, a week ago in march an amazing conference and i've uh, screencast that uh, and, and probably you'll find it underneath wherever i post this screencast um, so you can see what they're up to with the uh, with their blog actually get a team space let's click on that just to see what what happens so it shows you their pricing plans seems a bit expensive initially for uh, for education but uh, negotiate with them guys and many of these companies are open to negotiating um, but there is a free trial and no credit card required so you could try that try these out um, and they have a public room which you'll see in a moment of course when evaluating people like this companies like this um, do they have a Facebook account and they do and there's some interesting things in actually there's a a little complaint here about something uh, but their value is how quickly can they uh, deal with that complaint they have a Twitter account I think uh, and you can see what sort of things they're twittering about get an idea of the size of the company how many people are following who are they following um, actually one thing I like to do is go just to check out uh, companies I'm looking at is to have a look at the Twitter stream who's talking about them um, so let's have a look who's talking about them here and I think it's only one person has actually used their hashtag um, in a, a Twitter post but uh, um, a pretty uh, nice response though lots of great things to collaborate on looking forward to great associations it was a blast so let's have a oh we've looked at this page already so let's have a look what it looks like for oh, team space. We didn't click on that. Get a team space, did we? Let me try that again. Get a team space. Try it free. Let's just see what sort of things happen here. Put in your uh, company name here. You click on try free. I think it asks you for your username after that, and you need to download a very small client, and it is small. I my connection is pretty ropey, and uh, sorry, not very good, and. Uh, uh, it downloaded very quickly. And in fact, one of the th one of the things I'm very pro about with this is it seems to work well on low bandwidth connections. Um, in Asia, where I am, my my connection isn't brilliant. And uh, when I was trying it last week, it it worked really well. Um, so no complaints there. Let's have a look at the uh, at uh, the client itself. And this is what the client looks like. Um, it's it's two D. Um, but it is uh, interactive. We have a map here of the different rooms, and you can make that bigger or smaller just with that. It's very simple, actually. The learning curve was very, very quick for me. There's a button up here to listen to somebody if they're talking already. Click on here for a microphone. Um, this is just the map, which is where we are at the moment. There's different views you can see by clicking up here on the right different layouts oops what did I click on then oh I clicked on oh I have clicked on a presentation uh, how do I get back from here let me just get out of this oh I clicked on my browser that's a bit silly let me go back to the environment here we go here oops that's it back again um, so here we are back in the well there's a clicking on map will bring us bring this up now my icon is here says shambles guru and I'm in the lobby and if there are other people in here and I was actually talking with them or listening to them up here or looking at presentations it's interesting that the sound is spatial and and soundproof so only the people in this area could could see and um, there is a chat facility over here so I can just type into here say hello but there's nobody here to listen to me I'm talking to myself yet again uh, hello there um, Actually, if I wanted to see who was around, uh, there's a list here. These were people that were signed up for this particular room in uh, Virtual Worlds Best Practice in Education. Um, and uh, there are some people online at the moment. 
these people are online at the moment and I could I suspect call them by clicking on them but I won't do that let me just close that one so we could have chat there and um, if I want to move it couldn't be easier you just click anywhere let's go into the help center here D double click uh, double click yeah there we go and I'm next to this conference table if I wanted to be in the auditorium double click over here and I'm now in the auditorium and it's telling me the chat that's going on in the, just in those areas so the chat is spatial as well or soundproofed as well so uh, go to this conference room over here go into that you can see I'm at the conference room up here nobody else is in here uh, what happens if I click on people I can still see the people actually online even though they're not in that particular room at, at the moment let me close that so I was quite impressed that by, by the ease of moving around now what about the presentation screens because it said you could bring in uh, cloud-based services and what it does is if you click on one of these screens and apparently you can make these screens very easy I haven't tried but it's just a matter of dragging them or clicking but if I click on this particular screen what it brings up is a browser and in that browser is uh, well it's whatever you put in the browser um, I'd, uh, and if you're a presenter you can actually put, safeguard this so others can't click on it um, and you can see what's up here is this is the map where we just came from and let's go let's go to this screen now and you can see oh, there's nothing on this screen oh, yes there is there is something coming up on the screen it's a Google Docs document but you see these are the screens that are in the room and to move between them you can just click on them so this is the the, the, the light immersive platform aspect it's not a, a screen you'd see as in Second Life on a prim it's uh, it's just it's bringing up a browser I think this is brilliant. I think I might stop on that. There's nothing else here that that's uh, um, I think that I can remember. Um, if you're interested, let me go back to the website. If you're interested, of course, just uh, come and uh, talk with the Sokoko guys. Come to their website. Um, the support, and I'm sure there's contact down the bottom here somewhere. Ask a question. Uh, support how to videos. Oh, I haven't looked at the how to videos. <laughs> I may have. St oh, look at this. I could have saved a whole load of time by just showing you this and saying, come and click on the videos, which is brilliant. Well, I hope you find that interesting. A bit long. Sorry about that, guys. But this, I'm actually quite enthusiastic about this. It's a very different approach to what we normally have for working spaces. We're looking at webinar spaces with. Uh, for, for virtual learning, there's virtual worlds, open sim, second life, um, uh, Adobe Connect. There's there's all of these that I've I've been looking at over the past few months. This is very very different uh, way of communicating. Um, I did ask them if you could actually design this to mimic uh, the layout of a school, for instance. So you could have have that. And I think providing it fits in, but I might be wrong in, in, in my understanding, I think providing it fits in sort of with rectangles, roughly, then you could have something which would mimic a little bit closely what your actual school layout was, and therefore have private meetings there. So I think this is well worth having a play with their free, uh, their free offering, and, uh, and see how it goes. And that's it. I think I'll stop there. Have fun. Hope you find it of interest. Take care. Bye.